Hidden in a stack of papers, underneath a pile of documents, might be one of the most terrifying requests for a patent ever recorded. And it comes from one of the most well-known tech companies in the world. What on earth is it? And why is there almost no press about this device? Just one website found out about the patent and published an article. Gizmodo, a popular tech blog, dubbed the gadget the Vampire Watch. Why did they call it this? because the device sucks your blood, literally. Google quietly requested a patent back in May 2014 with the US government. It was for a device to be worn around the wrist, something like a watch, although the patent indicates that it is not for time tracking purposes. Google provides diagrams for their invention. You can see that the company plans to market this product as a needle-free device that draws blood out of the human body. In most cases, Blood can be extracted from a person using a needle as the point of entry into a vein. But now, no needle is needed, just the vampire watch. Google happily boasts that the device can be used to analyze and track just about everything that goes on inside of the body, such as hormone levels, enzymes, reagents, proteins, cells and molecules including blood glucose. Most people would think that such a device would be beneficial for diabetic patients who must check their blood sugars routinely. But as you can see, Google is looking beyond the multi-billion dollar diabetic market. The Vampire Watch can literally track just about everything that happens inside of your body. Before you say that this is a good thing, that this device could save countless lives, consider what it could potentially open up. Tech companies have already led the way in the largest violation of privacy rights in the history of the world. The very notion of privacy has been stripped from the World Wide Web. There is no such thing. It doesn't exist. Leaders of tech companies have been complicit in the hostile takeover of privacy rights by the US government. It is known that the NSA has collected billions and billions of pieces of data on US citizens and even citizens in many other countries. Vast quantities of bulk data on billions of people, their online purchases, their surfing, their thoughts and ideas, their selfies, their videos, their expressed opinions. All of this data has been provided to the National Security Administration by companies like Facebook, Yahoo, Apple, and Google. And now to the NSA. The NSA's top lawyer says internet and tech companies did in fact know about the agency's data collection program known as PRISM. Since the news broke last summer, companies like Facebook, Google, and Apple denied any knowledge of PRISM. But at a recent hearing, NSA General Counsel Rajath Day said that's not true. Listen to this exchange between him and a member of the Privacy and Civil Liberties Oversight Board. Early on in the um, debate, there were um, some statements by companies who may or may not have been involved in the program saying, well, we never heard of PRISM. But whether they ever heard of PRISM, any company that was from whom information was being obtained under 702 knew that it was being obtained. Correct. PRISM is just an internal government term that as a result of the leaks became a public term, but collection under this program is done pursuant to compulsory legal process that any recipient company would have received. Google knowingly provided billions of pieces of data to the NSA and then they tried to deny that they had ever done such a thing. So will you now trust them with your most personal data, your very blood matrix? With Google's Vampire Watch, all data on your body will be uploaded and stored in microchips, it will be put on servers, and it will be entered into the World Wide Web. It becomes a part of the WWW matrix, the web that has taken over and caught everybody inside of it. Your blood is a matrix of data waiting to be explored. It has always been my opinion that the flesh and blood of the human body is the last thing to be completely controlled by the beast system that is now in place. Everything else is fully under the beast's dominion. Your body, which is the temple of God, is the only thing left. And they want ownership of it, ownership of you. They want to collect every aspect of data about your personal matrix and to connect it to the larger one that they have created. That is the sole function of many of these mega tech companies. They work for the beast. It's in their logos. Just take a look. These companies, including Google, know the trend. They know what's coming in the future. Your DNA must be brought in, introduced. It must be programmed into the larger net matrix. 
This is the reason the vampire watches such a terrifying apparatus. Your body becomes hardwired to the web, and all of the data about your flesh and blood becomes absorbed into the matrix. We have been warned that such a time is coming. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, speaks of a mark that will be placed in a very specific location, on the right hand or on the forehead. Without this mark, a person cannot buy or sell. He cannot conduct any type of commerce. Was Revelation prophesying the hardwiring of every person upon the earth to the matrix, that a technology would be utilized to bring all into the 666 web they have built. One of the most unusual aspects about the Vampire Watch is the way Google describes it. An aperture is created in the skin, blood is sucked out, and drawn into a negative pressure barrel. According to Google, the watch functions like a miniature particle accelerator in which hyperspeeds are used to collect the blood. Perhaps you caught the oddity that Google describes the Vampire Watch as a particle accelerator, one that you wear around your wrist. There is another, more well-known particle accelerator that has been the subject of controversy for many years. The most famous and largest accelerator in the world is the Large Hadron Collider at CERN, and they too are trying to open up an aperture using hyperspeeds. It will serve as a portal to another dimension, or so they say. CERN's attempt to open up black holes has sparked warnings from some of the most famous scientists in the world, including cosmologist Stephen Hawking. There could be something on the other side of this aperture. I do think people should be very cautious about purchasing a particle accelerator called the Vampire Watch that can extract blood from you using hyperspeeds instead of a needle. This device sounds like a miniature version of wearing CERN around your wrist. <laughs>